A study was done using a treatment group and a placebo group. The results are shown in the table. Assume that the two samples are independent simple random samples selected from normally distributed populations, and do not assume that the population standard deviations are equal. Use a 0.05 significance level. Test the claim that the two samples are from populations with the same mean. Remember that the null hypothesis always contains the equals sign. We are to test the claim that the two samples are from populations with the same mean, so in other words that they are equal, not that one is greater or one is less. So then our alternative hypothesis would be the means are unequal. We are to find the test statistic. We'll use StatCrunch to do that, so we'll press question help, StatCrunch. The population standard deviations are unknown, and this is a hypothesis test about the difference in the means. So we will use the t distribution to make this determination. So we'll press stat, t stat, to sample. And since we were given the measures for the two data sets and not the individual data values, we will press with summary. Group one was the treatment group, and so we will use those measures for sample one. The sample mean was 2.37. The sample standard deviation was 0.62. The sample size was 28. And then for the placebo group, the sample mean was 2.62. The sample standard deviation was 0.99. And the sample size was 37. We were told in the problem that we were not to assume that the population standard deviations are equal, so we should uncheck the pool variances box. We will leave the null hypothesis set to zero since mu1 equal to mu2 is the same as mu1 minus mu2 equal to zero. In other words, their difference is zero. It was a two-tailed test, so we will leave the not equal to symbol set in the alternative hypothesis. Click compute, and we find a t-statistic of minus 1.25 and a p-value of 0.2173. Since the p-value, 0.217, is greater than the level of significance, 0.05, we will not reject the null hypothesis. So the conclusion should be failed to reject the null hypothesis. There is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the two samples are from populations with the same mean. We are now to construct a confidence interval suitable for testing the claim that the two samples are from populations with the same mean. Now, if our confidence interval is going to lead us to the same conclusion, then we would have to make sure that the critical values are the same. We have a 0.05 significance level. It's a two-tailed test, so that means that that 0.05 would be split out into the two tails. So that means that we would have 0.025 in one tail and 0.025 in the other tail. So at the output box from our hypothesis test in StatCrunch, we'll click Options, Edit. Then all of the measures that we entered earlier show up again, and we can change to a confidence interval. And this will be a 95% confidence interval, since we will have 0.025 of the distribution split out into each tail. So we'll click Compute. So we will have a lower limit of negative 0.651 and an upper limit of 0.151 if we round to three decimal places as specified in the problem. 